Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on my MacBook Pro to 16GB. This is a late 2011 model MacBook Pro 15 inch and at the moment I have 8GB of memory in there which is arranged in two 4GB DDR3 memory modules. And I'm going to be replacing them with these 8GB memory modules from Gale, which I picked up on eBay for about €60, Euros, including shipping. And the first thing you need to do is shut down the Mac, and then disconnect all the cables, the MagSafe connector, the external display, and any external drives. Then close the lid and turn it upside down. Make sure there's nothing on the desk that could scratch the top of the Mac when you turn it upside down. So there are 10 screws on the bottom. There are 4 along the back. Then there's one either side in the middle and four more along the front. So to remove the screws you need a Phillips size zero zero screwdriver. The three leftmost screws at the back are these long screws. And it really helps if you have a magnetized screwdriver. It just helps you to lift out the screws once they've been loosened. And the other screws are all these small screws. And now with the case removed you can see the internals of the MacBook Pro. Um, I've got an SSD in there and I replaced the optical drive with a hard drive. The first thing to do before anything else is disconnect the power connector from the battery to the motherboard. Just bend it up and away from the motherboard using your fingernail. And this is the RAM. It's held in place by two plastic clips either side. And if you just push those out, the RAM should slide up and you can pull it out and away from the motherboard. And then the same with the lower one. It should come out pretty easily. And now I'm going to be installing the new memory. So starting with the lower memory module first, just line up the gap on the contacts on the memory module with the gap on the connector on the motherboard and push it into place and then push it down and it should click into place. The plastic clips either side will hold it there and then the same with the upper memory module, just push it into place and then push it down either side and it should click into place. And then all we need to do is reconnect the battery connector to the motherboard, just push it back down, and then replace the back case. And then we can go ahead and replace all the screws. And that's the upgrade done. So I'm just turning the Mac on again now for the first time. And it turns off immediately. It also did that when I upgraded the hard drive to an SSD. So I think it's got something to do with the Mac recognizing the change in configuration. But the second time I turned it on, it boots up fine. So back into Mac OS X now. And you can see that I now have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. 
the official Apple specs say that the MacBook Pro can accept a maximum of 8GB, but as you can see, 16GB works absolutely fine. 8GB um, in each memory slot. Things do seem a lot faster when I have lots of applications running at the same time. Um, I've never run out of memory since this memory upgrade. Something I noticed about the RAM chips that were in there is that they're not a matched pair. One of them is DDR1333, the other is PC312800. It's actually faster RAM, but of course it will clock down to the required speed. 